say that Mr. Bellows did mention he got it, I think he said from the administration, he's here, he can say whether it's true or not, that's my memory, I had done 20 minutes ago. And I want to observe to him that I have talked to Mr. Bellows many times, but never about this situation, this evening, never, until I came up and showed it to him and asked him if he had generated that, and asked him where he got the erroneous information. I want that made public. I appreciate your listening. Thank you, sir. The previous school attorney, and, well, he very abruptly, after an executive session meeting, turned in his letter of resignation. Why? Why did he do this? Because he had been requesting that the school, according to my sources in the school, and a lot of this was done in school board meetings, and so a lot of it is public information. So there's no secrets here anyways. Nobody just, it's just that nobody knows about it. But it's all true. He resigned because he wanted the school board to pay him this big lump sum of money. The school board had no idea about this. The school board, in fact, when asked about this, said, hey, were these debts reflected in the audit? Because the audit said that there were no outstanding liabilities. This would be an outstanding liability. Shortly after that whole fiasco, the main guy in the administration over all that, he bolted very abruptly. You know, no one knew. He bolted to a different school district. Kenneth Furlow sent his letter of resignation. Obviously, you know, something happened.